Hello everybody, welcome back to Martha is Dead. Why did you say that name? In the previous episode quite a lot happened. Actually, uh, Nana got killed, unfortunately. Also, Lapo was murdered and his last wish basically was that Julia would help him to achieve his goal and try to end the war. So that's something we will try to do. Also, uh, Julia decided in order to find out what exactly happened to Martha, that she will try to find the lady in the lake herself. Uh, let's see if it is possible. Here we go. Okay, so in our objectives, a couple of interesting things. Besides, uh, you know, seeing the white lady, I think we cannot at the moment. We still need to find that personal object. Newspaper. Oh, we read that already. But we can go and try that thing with ending the war. We need to find the telephone pole and cut the wire. But we also have the final farewell. So we need to say goodbye to Martha. Now, okay, this is the final farewell. This is the communication cable. Let's start with the communication cable. Yeah, let's do that. Here we go. How about we will use the bicycle? Here we go. Something about this, even though it's clumsy, it's kind of cute and nice. I like riding here on the bicycle. Now, wait a minute. I need to find a telephone pole. Um, wait a minute. Communication pole. Yeah, this is the one. Communication cable. Um, how do I go down? Get off. There you go. Right mouse click. So I think this is it, right? Oh. Wait a minute. I think I'm stuck because of the bicycle. <laughs> Wait a minute. Let's move them a little bit over here. Okay. Now get off. Ah, free. There you go. Um. Oh. Here we go. And we're climbing. Okay, click the mouse. Oh, okay. I see how it goes. Right, left, right, left. Wow. We are high now. Climbing very high. And I think we're at the top. A German tank. I have oh. to report its location via the telegraph hidden near the cowshed. Daddy probably asked for a garrison after all that has happened. We need to use the telegraph. Location via telegraph. Okay, and we need to cut the wire. How do I do that? Ah, there you this go. This wire heads towards the house and then keeps going, so it must be the right one. There you go. Mission accomplished. Get down. Now all that remains is to go to the telegraph near the barns. Near the barns. I know where it is. All right. Let's go there. Okay, she's going down automatically. I don't need to press anything. So let's take the bicycle. Okay, now let's be careful here. It's a bit steep. Ah! <laughs> Damn, wait a minute. Oh, this is kind of clumsy here. Let's see if I can do it. There you go. Phew, challenging. The mechanic of the bicycle is definitely not perfect, but something about it. It's very cute. I don't know how to, how to explain. So, this is the barn. We need to find the telegraph here, right? How are you doing, cow? Oh, there's rabbits as well. I missed them before. Oh, poor things in that cage. Cute. Oh, I think this is a telegraph. Box is empty. 
a telegraph would have been installed nearby. Um. The telegraph must be hidden in one of these feed bins. Oh, there you go. Nice. Okay, okay. Oh, I have to start every message with the code word. I saw the tank on the road and the road is near the house. I guess I have to communicate something like that. The tank on the road and the road is near the house. We need to tell them that. And she said something about code word. I don't know. Use the telegraph and remember the code word. Oh, town on fire. Okay, we got the code. That's good. Town on fire. So we need to start with town on fire. Um. Oh, town. Okay. Uh, can see. Oh, there you go. On fire. So this is the code now. We need to uh, tell them somehow that there is a tank on the road and the road is near our house. Let's see if you got the words for it. There you go. Tank. Tank. Positioned. Road. Near, beside, hmm. Ta tank, let's say beside road. I want to say beside, no. Remove last word. Tank positioned on the road. I got road, but I don't have like on or something like that. Over. Road? Maybe it's good enough? Over road? Tank positioned over road? Or this is... <laughs> That's a terrible English. Wait a minute. Ah. How about... Find tank? Over road? Near house. <laughs> I'm doing the best I can with the words I have. Down on fire. Find tank over road near house. Uh, I think it's understandable. Yeah. Yeah, I think it's understandable. It's not perfect, but how do I send it now? Uh, what do I do? Oh, send pattern. Oh, I need to use that Morse code. Damn it. I got the length of the sound wrong. I'll try this word again from the beginning. Oh, uh... Wait a minute. Probably my image covers it, but it says short press to send dot. Press and hold down briefly to send dash. Oh, okay, okay, okay. I got it. So let's follow what we have here. Dash, it's a long tap. Long tap. Now dot. Now dash. Dash. All right. Mm, dot. There you go. Dot, dot. Damn it again. What? I need to be more careful about the length of the sound. I, I, I press dot. Wait a minute. Dot, dot, dash, dot. Okay. Dash, dot, dash. No, Oops. another mistake. I need to focus more and think less. Okay, okay. Uh, I need to be very careful here. Like, if you click the mouse button a little bit too fast or a little bit too slow, then you miss it. Okay. Let's concentrate here. Dash. Dot. Dash. Dot. 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 This mission tested my patience more, more than anything. But it was, uh, it was fun. This is the code that we are sending. What's happening? Are we receiving message right now? Is that what is happening? 
Hmm. Okay. Select the words in order to describe the message received. Okay. Okay, I need to decipher that. Alright, I got a message. Let's find out what it says. So, how it works. Follow the dots or dashes to get the correct order, the correct letter. Sorry. So, I need to get... Ah, uh, this is a... <laughs> okay. This is interesting. That's a thinker for sure. So let's see. Three dots. One, two, three. A dash, a dash, and another dot. That can't be right. Because it gets me over here. Follow the dots or dashes to get the correct letter. Oh, wait a minute. <coughs> Sorry, um, is that a word or a letter? I think it might be a word, so that means this space here, this gap, means that this is a letter and this is a letter? Uh, wait a minute, let's see. Three dots, let's say this is a letter, so one, two, three. So maybe this is an S. Now dash and a dot, dash and a dot, N. S N uh, received. Okay. Okay. Maybe, maybe that's how it works. Let's try it. Three dots. So that's a letter, right? One, two, three. That's an S dot dash dot. Uh, dot dash dot. So S R. Three dots and a dash. Three dots and a dash V. S R V. Need. Okay, received. Need. Alright. I think it's that's the way it goes. Dash and two dots. Dash and two dots. That's a D. Two dots. Dash a dot. Two dots. Dash and dot. D F. Alright. And three dots. That's an S. D F S. D F S. Defensive. Received. Need defensive. Alright. Oof, okay. <laughs> dot, dash, and two dots. Dot, dash, two dots. L. And we got N. L, N. L, N. Line. Defensive line. Mm hmm. M. Got here P. M, P. And another P. Let's check it out. Map. All right, all right. We are making progress here. Nice. Two hours later. Received the defensive line map. Live near building beside river. Okay. Near building beside the river. All right. Defensive line map. Uh, oh, I did wonder why do I need the map that we saw in the father's room, I think. Okay. We can give it to them. All right, all right. Interesting. And last word, dot and a dash A, dot and a dash dot R, A, R, A, R, over and out. They're asking me to find a map of the defensive line. Okay, okay. There is one in my father's study. The gothic line. Okay, let's go get that, uh, that map. I know where it is. Let's go. Should be upstairs, I remember. Here we go. Okay, yes, there it is. Let's take a photo. Here we go. I think we need to zoom in. Wait a minute. Hmm. How can I zoom? Okay. I think this is too close. Okay, let's adjust a little bit the frame. Okay, I think that's better. Now I definitely need to change the focus. Okay, subject framed, in focus, properly exposed. Fantastic, let's shoot. That's it. Hopefully the image comes out clearly. Let's find out. Let's go and develop it. We know the drill. 
Go into the dark room. Let's develop that map. Perfect. There it is. Develop this photo. Oh, can't see anything. That's weird. Usually I can see, even though the image is definitely not clear, you can see something in here. But maybe because the map is mostly white, it's, it makes sense. I think it's okay. Okay. Focus. Here we go. Yeah, I can definitely see some lines. It's because the map is white. That's why I cannot see the sort of a preview, you know. Okay. Stop the immersion at the right time, of course. We know the drill. There you go. Perfect. The print should be fine like this. You can see detail clearly. Good. Okay, let's put in the album. Now we need to place it uh, the house by the river. Wait a minute. Leave the photo near the stream. Okay, the map. Um. Oh, there it is, the gothic line, okay. Okay, so we need to go all the way from here. All right, all right, let's do that. I'm still impressed by this lovely view. Very nice, okay. Leave it by the stream, I think we're close. Uh, somewhere around here, wait a minute, let's check the map. Oh, I passed it, should have turned left here. Okay, let's go back a little. Okay, and over here. Yeah. Okay, let's get down here. We are really close. I think this is the house they talked about. According to Nanny, this was an old windmill. It has been ah. abandoned for as long as I can remember, and it has always given me the creeps. Really? Ooh. So yes, this is the stream. We are at the right place. So, let's leave the map here. Mission accomplished. There we go. The photo is where they requested. Okay, so let's see the objective. Is it done? Use the telegraph. Oh, okay. I need to let them know that it is done. Okay, we're going back. You know what? Let's do this on foot from here, because going down here, it's always so complicated when you use the bicycle. It would be better just to run like that. It's close enough. Okay. I need to tell them that the map is at the place they wanted. So how should I phrase it? Hmm. I have placed the photo where requested, so I need to find the right words to communicate it. Oh, and of course, I need to remember the code word. Town on fire. Okay. First of all, town on fire. Now the map. Map. Beside comes from. Positioned, maybe? Located. Located, positioned, 
positioned. Uh, I don't know how to say it with those words. It's kind of difficult. What I really want to say is I, I placed the map where you asked to. Uh, map... Map on fire. <laughs> no, I'm kidding. Uh, okay, let's say located. Located beside building. Near uh, river. River, river, river. River. Okay, I think it's clear enough. Town on fire. Map located beside building near river. Yeah. It's good enough for sure. I'll Send. add over at the end to make it clear that I have finished. Oh, okay, okay. Over and out or just over? Uh, wait a minute. Over. No, no, this doesn't seem clear to me. I need to find the right words. Huh. The photo of the map has been positioned. Okay. Town on fire. Photo, map, map photo, map, photo, positioned. That's good enough? What do you think? Over. Town on fire, map, photo, positioned, over. Okay, I need to do that again, okay. Dot, dash, dash. Dot, dot, dash, dot, dot, dot. Here we go. Nice. Okay, we're getting another message. Okay, let's decipher it. Dash, dot, dash, dot. Mm, dash, dot, dash, dot. C. Dot and a dash. C A C A R M C A R M Tank Alright Dot dash and double dot dot dash double dot L Alright L C mm. L C L located K They have worked out the position of the tank. I should confirm that I've understood their message with received. Send at least two words. Message received. So let's say I can say just received over. No need for message. Received over. Oh, I need town on fire. Town on fire. Sorry. Town on fire. Received over. Sent. Okay. Damn it. Concentrating. Done. Okay, I think they're asking for something else. For sure. This message seems a bit long. Okay, while they're at it, let's start deciphering the first word. T. R. V. T or V. Find. Okay, they want me to find something else now. Interesting. What is it? And finally, dash dot dash k over. There's a weapons cache in the woods. Yeah. In my woods. Okay, I will search for it. Let's respond received again. Okay, you received. Turn on fire, of course. On fire, received, over. Yep, 
Here we go. We know the drill. Nice. Whew. Okay, I'm starting to decipher it. Because it's still going, it takes some time. So let's see. Dot, dash, dash, dot, G, no, P, yeah, P, Z, and another Z, P, Z, Z, place, okay, they want me to place the weapon somewhere else, all right, I got it. So let's see where exactly, D, N, D, N, D and D. No. Wait a minute. I uh, got confused here. B and D. B and D. Yes. Flag. Okay. Place flag. Okay. Dot dash dash dot P. L. P L. Mm. Flag ball. L. One eternity later. Place flag polite, close communication. Okay. I hope uh, Julia understand it better. But let's uh, decipher the final word. A R. Over and Okay, out. so after I've been there, I will place a flag on the telephone pole near the oh. house. They will then okay. know that I have accomplished the task. Easy peasy. Okay, I see. So let's go over the objectives now. Find the weapons cache, and then I need to place the flag. Okay, so like letting them letting them know that the job is done. Even though I could telegraph them again, but okay. The weapons cache. Okay, so let's go over there. And I'm just gonna run. I'm not taking the bicycle again. I think I'm going faster on foot because the mechanics here sometimes get even clumsy with a bicycle. Let's just make a run. And let's hope I'll survive this. Last time we went into the woods, we got shot, so yeah, you know. Let's hope it goes better now. Is that it? I think it is. What is this place? This never used to be here. Now it is. Oh, it's locked? Oh, it's closed from the inside. How can I get in? Oh, find a way to enter. Hmm. There must be an entrance. Oh my god. We need to go all the way over here. Ooh. Okay. Got a long way to go. Let's do that. This is the river. I cannot walk over there. I think I need to go on shore and from there. But how do I cross this thing? The rivers go all the way over here. Hmm. Can I... Can I go left over here, maybe? No, it won't work. Okay, maybe... Let's go over there. Try to find out what we can. No, wait a minute. From here. Let's go get to the shore and see. Maybe there is a way. Once we are there, let's find out. I don't know. Okay. Uh, now I'll try to get over there. I think I need a boat. Is there a boat? Can I use it? The boat can be used to access hidden areas on the island. Yeah. And the island. Okay, yeah, so that's how I get there. All right, fantastic. So it said find the hidden areas and the island, not on the island. So there is an island to find. 
Again. Good to go. So yeah, this is the island that they talked about. Let's try to... to explore this island a little bit. I'm curious. I cannot dock here? Hmm. Ah, yes I can. Wow, it's lovely here, huh? Wow, it looks like the game has ray tracing and it doesn't. <laughs> not easy oh I got over here oh my god guys the mechanics are so complicated okay let's take it slower I cannot go forward here oh yeah there is this magical barrier so I cannot pass okay you know what maybe I'm not supposed to get to the island just now so let's go and get the weapons. I tried. I really did. Oh my! That whole culvert used to be covered in bushes. Someone must have worked on it recently. Okay, that was noisy. <laughs> but we made it. Okay. Tunnel? Here. I Ooh. wasn't there when I was younger, I'm sure of it. That's a new one. Uh, can I use the light? Why not? Why the hell not? I mean, there is a lot there is light here, but it's so subtle. Oh, please game. Damn it. There's been a whole world underneath us this whole time. Wow. You know what? I want to save and reload. Maybe sometimes it's a bug. I cannot use the light and when I reload, I can. So let's try and do that. Okay, saved now. Let's load the game again. Let's see if I can use the light after I'm doing that because it's really dark in here. Like, seriously. Okay, we are back. Let's find out. No. God damn. I have no idea where I'm going, guys. Okay. This is a real maze, huh? Oh, that was the door. Oh. Oh my god. When was this place built? I didn't know it even existed. Oh my god. It was built by the Germans. Okay. Uh, I have no idea where I am, I guys. I'm nervous. Mm, this place gives me the creeps. Yeah. Oof. I don't like it, man. This must be a dormitory, but no one is here. Who knows why? Strange that no one is here. Got weapons, telephone. What is this? Camera. It will be interesting to develop this one. Oh, it's a skin. Okay. It's not a new photo. It's camera skin. How do I change camera skins? I don't know. Okay, we'll check it out later. I wanna get out of here. Got a letter. Dear Brunhilde, the heat here is killing me. We have been trapped inside the tunnel. It seems that Command are preparing for something big, but they are not telling us what. The other day we went out on patrol and accidentally shot a young girl. 
I will carry Julia. the weight of this guilt for the rest of my life. I love you always. The hope of seeing you again is what keeps me going. T. The soldier who shot me, he thinks I'm dead. I don't feel any resentment. We are all hurting so much. Thing is that it happened not not long ago. So he was here not long ago. I think there are people down here. Cannot be abandoned. I will hang this on top of the pole next to my house. That will confirm these tunnels are in the area. My mission will then be complete. That's the flag we needed. So let's see. Attach the flag to the telephone pole. Okay. Oh. So I already found the weapon cachet. This is it. I was asked to find the weapon cachet. Okay. Okay. I was not supposed to place the weapon somewhere else. Just to find the weapons. Okay. So that's what we needed to do. That's what we needed to do. Alright. We can go out now. And now we need to uh, place the flag on the telephone pole. Okay. Okay. Got it. This telephone doesn't work. Oh, it's probably because I cut that line. <laughs> Makes sense. Okay. A lot of documents. Paintings here too. This looks like something important. I think if mummy were here to see them, she would take them straight home. Huh. Interesting. You cannot go in or investigate. Okay. I think I'm in the right direction. This is where I came from, alright? Okay. Oof. Ah, found the way out, finally. Ah, that's better. So much better. Okay, now let's just go back. How do I enter? What the hell? How do I enter? I don't get this. Wait a minute. I cannot get on the boat. Maybe the game wants me to go somewhere else. Ah. Okay, let me check it out. I don't know. This is so weird. Okay, guys, I've spent a lot of time in those tunnels. It was rough, but thankfully, eventually, I made it here. And look, the gate. Now we can open it from the inside. I have no idea why I could not get on that boat. Maybe the game intentionally wanted me to open the gate. So it forced me to, you know, come back here, but it was I nice if... I the gate closed so nobody notices that someone was here, but it will remain unlocked. That's a good idea. What I was trying to say is that... Oh, okay, I see. I thought I need to do it, but she already did it. Again, I was trying to say that... Julia, it was nice if she would tell me once I was in a boat. No, I should go back to the gate and try to open it from the inside so I would know what's going on. I had to guess it, so... Yeah, that was kind of weird. But, uh, okay. It is done. Let's go and place that flag on that cable. On that uh, communication pole, sorry. Something is happening. Oh, the crow from before. With the bird it killed. Why am I seeing it now? Uh, it's definitely symbolic for something. I'm 
not sure what exactly, but nothing good. No matter who this little bird represents, someone is gonna die. Poor little one. He's dead. Poor little guy. His place is by Martha's side. Oh, the cutscene is because I'm close to Martha and we should go and say farewell to Martha, I see. I was on the way to, you know, place the flag and I went close to it without even noticing. Okay, we'll get to it soon enough. Let's just complete our mission. Climbing again. We know the drill. Nice. Okay, placing the flag. So, <gasps> oh my God, Martha, uh, Julia, I have don't done fall down, please. I ask of me. That's the end of it. That's the end of it. I hope I made the right choice. Okay, so. Let's see, now the objectives. Yeah. This mission is completed. We've done everything they asked. So now we're doing the final farewell. And after that we'll try to find the white lady. Okay. Let's go say goodbye to Martha. There's the little bird. Poor thing. Nanny always calls me Little Sparrow. This is the part of me that died with Martha. It'll be safe next to her. Here we go. Okay, can I cannot do... I cannot read this thing. I need to place the bird first. Here, Martha. This is my heart carry it with you. I'm starting to understand how painful your condition must have been. Not being able to properly communicate with anyone is becoming increasingly difficult. I envied you, but I did not see your suffering. I did not understand your courage. Oh, man. I miss you so much, Martha. I'm not worthy to dress in your clothes. This realization, ah... Uh... It hurts, man. I mean, you Maybe know, it's the same raven that killed that poor sparrow. Oh, yeah, the raven making noises. So uh, what I wanted to say is that, you know, Julia is not a selfish person for sure. Bullying. Yet it seemed as if the raven wanted to bring the little bird back to life. We'll get to the raven. I'm trying to make a point, Julia. Just give me a second. <laughs> Sorry. So uh, Julia, as I said, she's not selfish, of course. The fact that she envied Martha is not because she was, you know, concentrated on herself. Me, me, me. It's not that. She was getting no love from her mother. She was neglected. In the meantime, Martha was loved. So that's why she was envy, you know. It came from a lot of pain. But still, she's strong enough and to realize and admit, I was envy and I did not see your pain. Martha's pain. Maybe only so it can kill it again. Oh my. So what I'm trying to say is that I feel bad for Julia because she was going through a lot and still she has that guilty conscience even though she was neglected her over her entire life. So you know what I'm saying. It's rough. Commune of San Casciano, province of Florence. Death certificate. From the register of death certificates of this commune Number 174, Part 3. Series 12 of the year 1944. It is certified that on the day of the 16th of July of the year 1944, Julia Kay has died. Resident of Via Perciabaya, born in La Romola. On the 26th of February 1923, the daughter of General Erich Kay and Irene Kay. Don Attilio D. will give the funeral and the esteemed Mr. Alberto M., who will look after the burial in the cemetery of La Romola. Telephone number 6537. That's the, the official number. state civil service. General Galeazzo T. 
objective updated. Let's see. The telephone. You can now use the telephone to make calls. Oh, we know that already. So, uh, the final for Will. Say goodbye. Say the sparrow. Pick up the sparrow. Where exactly the, the update thingy is? Oh, maybe the raven. Why does this raven keep calling? All right, find the raven. Okay, we need to find the raven. That's the new objective. You can definitely hear him. This is the bicycle. No, the map does not say where the raven is. Let's just use our ears and our eyes. And we can also try that phone number that we just saw on that note. But step by step. Oh, there he is. Where are you leading me? He's taking me somewhere. Let's follow him. Something is happening here, guys. The dramatic music starts. What is this? Dress? It's made from the same fabric I found a shred of next to the lake. In fact, it is torn. Oh, that's it a huge clue. My, mother's. my goodness. Her mother's? I started to suspect that Mummy could have been involved in Martha's murder. Lost in these thoughts, hours passed. Oh my god. And I completely forgot about the funeral. When I realized it was evening, they were already carrying the coffin towards the cemetery. She never loved me, I knew that well. But I would never have believed that. Had it been her, I struggled to believe it. But it made so much sense. At the lake, she oh must have thought God. Martha was me because she was convinced that I was dead. Okay, okay, I have to stop. I have to share my thoughts. Something big is happening because, uh, first of all, we don't know, I have to say, we don't know for sure that her mother did this, but that's, that's very possible. Now, here's something interesting. Uh, the mother was trying to kill Julia, probably, and not Martha, because she loved Martha and did not love Julia. Now, Martha wrote, uh, wrote a letter to her mother. Julia is pregnant. You can come and see by the lake when she bathed. And, in fact, Martha was the one who's pregnant. So... So maybe the mother went to the lake, saw Martha bathes pregnant, and she thought that Julia is the one who's pregnant, so she thought this is Julia, and that's why she attacked her, Martha, instead of Julia. If this theory is accurate, we do not know that yet, but if this theory is accurate, the question that comes now, why Martha would, would do that? But, but, remember that nightmare with the Grim Reaper? He did say that Martha was sacrificing herself to save her sister. So, maybe she knew that the mother planned to kill Julia, so she posed as Julia. She told the mother Julia is pregnant, even though she was pregnant, to save her sister. Oh my god! Oh my god, is my theory, is it accurate? Oh my god, if it's true then the mother is a monster. But, let's continue playing, maybe I'm wrong. But I think this is the direction the game is going into, but let's find out. Oh, talk about some revelations, huh? Oh, dark revelations, disturbing ones. When the funeral ended, I felt an irresistible urge to play. 
I loved music. I started playing without thinking about the possible consequences. I didn't care anymore. I needed to feel alive, to exist again. The animation of the fingers, it's impressive. Oh, but Julia's story is really heartbreaking. Yeah, Martha is dead, of course. What's going on here? But... Julia? Is that you? No, it's not possible. Oh. Martha's never played. She's deaf, yet... No. This is madness. My God. So, Martha? I understand now. You can get all of the attention, right? You were jealous, weren't you? Because she was a wonderful girl and, and you're just a useless little slut. How did you manage to convince her? I get it now. But she, she talked to me. I, I, no, it doesn't make sense. It's breaking my heart the I way the mother treats Julia. In an asylum. You hear? That's enough. You will pay for what you've done, you cursed lunatic. They will torture you to reveal the monsters in your head. Wow, guys, that's... Her words were as sharp as blades. I tried yeah. to tell her that it wasn't me. I showed her the photos I developed that proved my innocence. But she grew all the more angry calling me crazy and then she began to hit me with everything she had at hand oh no i closed my eyes as more darkness began to take over in me memories came flooding back not memories of actual past events but more so of feelings feelings i had when i was little they were scary they were the fears of a little girl despite what had happened I went walking in the woods early the next morning to meet the lady. The evening before, my father had tried desperately to console me. Talk to me, Julia. You know I love you. I just want to understand what happened. I am happy you are alive. Even if we have lost Martha... Your mother was just in shock. She didn't want to hurt you. Five days after Martha's death. So, uh, first of all, yeah, the secret, uh, the truth revealed. They know that Julia is alive, disguising herself. She was disguising herself as Martha. But... The words that, uh, the way Julia put it, sharp as knife, she said, or oh, something like that. Oh, this is so true. That hatred in her voice, it was, it was making me, you know, so uneasy and got me so sad right there. Like, it is terrible. It is just terrible the way she talked to her little girl. So, uh, not little, I don't know exactly how old is she, but you know, to her daughter. So, uh, now, I would say, you know, she's moaning, she's in shock and all that, so maybe I should not judge the mother so harshly, but you have to remember, that's the way she treated Julia her entire life. And what exactly Julia says, she says, this reminds me of feelings. She, she knows those feelings. She's familiar with them because that's the way the mother let her feel throughout so many moments in her life. Julia's story is just so heartbreaking in so many ways. Uh, let's shuffle the tarot cards because we can do it and it's a distraction, right? Maybe? Oh, that was that was rough. That was rough. 
That was a difficult scene, guys. The Wheels of Fortune. The Hanged Man. Eesh. The Chariot. I'm going to make it. It will all change eventually. But luck will not be my ally and everything will be very difficult. Hmm. Interesting. So now our objective is to... Yeah, try and find the lady in the lake. So the lover, if I'm looking at the objectives... Take a photo of the grave in the woods. We need to take an infrared photo so we would be able to see a ghost, right? Take infrared photos, need special infrared film, we have that. And the tripod, we have that as well. Okay, okay, let's do that. Let's do that. That scene was very difficult, guys. Scene with the mother. The way she talked to her daughter, that's... Oh, man. I don't know what I'm hoping to find, but what else can I do? I will hopefully see if one of these graves is hiding something. I hope that the infrared film will show me. Here's to hope. Okay, so let's see what we need. We need the infrared. There you go. We got the trap head. Too close and out of focus. So just need to adjust the... Wait a minute. The frame. Okay, subject framed. Now, focus. Let's see. All right. Ooh. Okay, perfect. Framed in focus, properly exposed and required add-ons. Installed. Taking the photo. This will be interesting to develop. Okay. We need to go back to the house, right? Yeah. Let's go back. What do you think we'll find? Can we find the white lady? Oh, what's this? New lenses? The green filter. Useful for landscapes. Aha! Uh -huh. The yellow filter. If it were to snow, it would be perfect. Oh! This is handy. Okay. I'm very curious to see what we will find in that photo. Very curious. Yeah, I can definitely see a person, a girl, a woman. Let's develop it. Oh my god. Oh my god. Focus... In focus. Perfect. This will be so interesting, guys. Here we go. Seven, eight, nine, ten. Let me see it. There's yeah. the grave I've been searching for. The spirit of a prisoner. Just like the white lady, he's trapped in this world, but they can no longer meet one another. Evil is separating them. The prisoner. So that's not the white lady, it's the prisoner. First of all, let's put it in the album. The prisoner... Who was the prisoner? 
Okay, guys, just now I understand what we did here because I did not understand why we're not trying to take a photo of the radium of the lake instead of this prisoner. But again, I just forgot it. So the diary said I must reinvoke her loss by putting her in contact with her lover. So that's why we took the photo of the lover. And now we took this item that connects them. And now we need the personal object. So we will go into the lake to find a dress. Looking at the map over here, of course. And that's all the ingredients we need to, to find the white lady according to Nanny, if Nanny is correct. Here we go. Without all the necessary elements, there's no point traveling to the island. Okay, I need to get the dress before coming here. I thought the dress is over here. Oh, it is over here. Ah. Here it is. I hope it works. Now that I have everything I need to communicate with the lady, I can finally go to the island. Going to the island? This will be so interesting. That's turning on. There you go. What we might find? Well, the white lady, of course. But what answers will we get? Oh, I'm really curious now. Let's see. I can duck right here behind it. Yeah. So, previously when I came here, I could not duck, but I'm guessing now I can. Because... Story? Let's see. Yeah. Nice. All right. Here we are. Moment of truth, huh? Let's go. This is the tree the lover was hung from, according to the legend. Ah. Here we go. A roll of film. It's the one that I was taking out of the camera just before I discovered Martha's body. It should contain shots from before that moment. With a bit oh. of luck, one of the shots has captured the moment of Martha's murder. I will then finally have an answer. Was it really mummy? I will develop it as soon as I can, but now it's time to speak with the white lady. This will be interesting. The film in the dress. Let's put the necklace. I will wear her lover's cross to draw her to me. Not in here, following Nanny's instructions. To enter into her world. I will use the tarot cards to communicate with her. The first ten will be used like I did with Nanny. Once two cards have been chosen, it should begin. I see. 
So uh, this is, you know, very unrealistic element, you know, summoning the white lady, but I think this is the direction the game is going. But I do wonder if maybe they mean like in, in a surrealistic way, but still like it's a part of her imagination. That's her inner struggle. That's what Julia is going inside. Or this is a real magic element that is happening in this game world. Either way, it got really, really interesting now. Oh, wow. You camouflage yourself in the woods to approach me. You blend in with the water to make yourself known. You wish to communicate with me through the energy of symbols. You use my pain to summon me. You are very bold. You call upon me for knowledge that I do not possess. Oh. For answers I do not have. I am only a vessel. Like water, like air. A vessel to move and breathe. Huh. It worked. Now I need to choose two cards. Here we go. Uh, how do you choose? Let's choose randomly. The Fool. Can be good, right? I don't know tarot cards, but I'm guessing it's not good. The Hanged Man, oh you no. You will no longer be able to tell light from darkness. In sorrow, the difference is so subtle. You are alone, and you will remain alone. Damn. Memories are abandoning you. They are your only true companions. Now they take the place of your happy childhood, and they may return to keep you company. Julia, what are you making out of this? I need your insight. I don't know. The moon. The devil. Part that can be good. Our soul embraces the people we love. It is then torn away from us when these people disappear. The wound is deep and it cannot heal. Faith vacillates. Death causes fear. But the church is a safe place. It is home and mother to its children. Faith is the light. Do not lose it. Finding it again is almost impossible. I lost it in sorrow. And without time, I am lost in the dark. I'm not sure what to make out of this. It's like she's telling Julia to, you know, to believe again in the Lord or something like that, have faith again, go to church. I think there's something more than that, though. I don't understand yet what she's trying to say. It's very complicated and very... She's talking in a very rhythmic way. You know? The I stars. can sense that you want to know who did it, but I do not have the answer. You must find it yourself. Do I not see. ever try to enter through the front door if you wish to reach the heart. Your twin sister might have the answer you are looking for. Even after death, we leave traces of ourselves, don't we? Everything that is That makes sense. That I understand. You look at the essence of things. Okay, for a change, she said something a bit more understandable, at least for me. She says, like, we need to keep investigating. Martha probably left traces. The answers are there. Like, you know, when a police investigation taking place, they gather all the clues, 
all the traces that people left behind, right? So something like that. Instead of looking into that magical spirit, the white lady, she says, uh, you know, keep investigating. The High Priestess. The daughter, the house, the mother. The daughter comes from the mother's house, then makes herself a home and becomes a mother. This cycle is broken. To undo the knot, find the son. Martha's he son? is the original sin reflected on you. The one who gave you the light wishes to take it back. She wants control. Bit by bit, she is crumbling your life. You have to stop her. Oh, okay. Now, I understood that. I understood that. She says, the mother that gave you life now wants to take it away. You must stop her. But she also says something interesting. She says, look, uh, you know, look for answers or... You know, try to find something that has to do with the son of Martha. Mother in the house give life and then the daughter gives another life and something in the cycle got broken. So Martha's baby. She lost it when she died, I think, of course, obviously. So the answers are with Martha's child, the unborn child. Interesting. Very interesting. The tower. And finally... The chariot. You do not have control of yourself. There is a dark figure inside you. The wounds are feeding it. It will do things you do not like. It will use your desires your guilt, the darkest parts of your conscience. Wow. <laughs> Spooked me. Okay. She wanted the necklace. That's fair. Okay. She can take it. Oh. I think that's another nightmare. Okay. Okay. Let's see what we will find now. It got so interesting, guys. The story is so immersive. We got some interesting clues from the lady in the lake, the white lady. But what is happening now? Airplane that crashed into the sea, into the lake. Got some fish. Oh, there's a light source over there. That's where we headed. Oh, that. It's getting really, really bright. Oh, okay. <laughs> it just light, basically. I thought that's what that was my destination. Let's get to the surface, maybe. Can't. Oh! The white lady. Or. Martha? Hanged. Oh god. Damn. <gasps> My. 
Martha's key. Oh, wow. Speaking with the white lady confused me even more, but at least now I have this key. Wow. So we know where that key goes. Over here. Ooh. July 16th. Dear sister, I entrust my secrets to this letter. If you are reading it, things have gone as I thought they might, and I am no longer there with you. First of all, I am not deaf, and I never was. What? Mother scared me when we were little, so I decided not to speak or listen anymore. Oh my god. In fact, mother began to love me. They also found a scientific explanation for my deafness. Neurological damage caused by excessive pressure exerted by the twin during pregnancy progressively led to hearing loss. Oh my god. And like that, my decision was also transformed into a fault of yours. So I must put it right. Do I have any other secrets? Unfortunately, yes, but a letter is too cold for such matters. Now that you know that I can speak, please go to the dark room. I have a hidden recording. Listen to it and you will hear my voice. Farewell, Martha. Why all of this madness, Martha? What else have you been hiding from me? You deprived me of your voice for more than 15 years. I can't wait to hear it now. Oh my god. Okay, uh, it got so interesting. I know it's a huge cliffhanger, but I'll have to stop it here. And we'll continue it in the next episode. But oh my god, a lot happened today. And you know, well, first of all, we tried to help Lapo's cause to end the war. It was sort of a, almost like a side quest. It did not affect the main story of Martha and Julia too much, I think. But maybe later on we will find that it will. But more than that, we talked to the white lady, the lady in the lake. I don't know if it was a metaphorical, surrealistic experience in you know, Julia's head, or it really happened. I think it's like something that is going on in Julia's head. That's how they metaphorically explain her journey. But on the other hand, she did wake up in a bathtub with a key, but maybe she had the key all along, you know? So I'm not sure 100% in which direction the game is going, if it really is magical, or it's maybe, you know, just a metaphorical way to explain what she's going through. I'm guessing it's a met metaphorical way to explain what, you know, Julia is going through. But either way, it's we don't have to know it right now. What's important is that we learned that the mother is a huge suspect of killing Martha. And apparently Martha deceived her mother, letting her think that she is Julia. She told her that Julia is pregnant when she was pregnant. And apparently that's why, if our theory is correct, that's why the mother killed Martha. She thought Martha was Julia. And now we learned something else by opening Martha's box. She was never deaf. She was pretending. And apparently they blamed Julia for that. That's why the mother hate her even more. But the mother was bad news even before that. The reason that Martha was, you know, posing as a deaf person because she knew that the mother is bad news, that she is capable of dangerous, terrible things. That's why she wanted to distance herself from the mother. By doing so, uh, without meaning to, like, she caused uh, Julia to take the fault unwillingly. Maybe that's why Martha was sacrificing herself to help Julia and posed as Julia so that the mother will kill her. Maybe because she felt guilty for Julia taking the blame for her death, for her being deaf. Oh, this story is, it is so disturbing in so many ways. But I think if I'm getting it right, the, the sort of a villain here is the mother. Martha was so scared of her mother growing up that she actually pretend she's being deaf. And it's not, you know, it's not that crazy if you think about what Julia is doing now. 
Julia was willing to disguise herself as Martha because she was afraid of the mother, because she knew how much the mother hates her. So if Julia can do it, why Martha can't? It's the same thing, basically, you know? They are both, you know, in a terrible situation. I feel bad for both of the sisters. If they fear so much of what the mother is capable of, it's kind of terrible. But there are more secrets that Martha is hiding. And in the next episode, we will develop, I guess, some photos. We're in the dark room and find more about Martha. It's going to be really interesting. I'm really intrigued. I hope you enjoyed this episode. I'll see you soon. Thank you for watching. <laughs>